Alright, how's it going, Mosh Pit? I have a uh, fifth gen match here for you today between me and Mufasa Fernando. We just got, you know, just got some regular stuff. I got that team that I used a while back on here, and he's got some fifth gen stuff. So we'll go ahead and see how it goes. Uh, in the meantime, he's going to go ahead and lead off with a Haxorus, and I'm going to go ahead and lead off with a Yanmega, which happens to be Sash, since I figure you know that's one of the only places you can leave it with Stealth Rocks floating around and everything being a big pain in the ass. So, uh,. I go for the air slash because I know I'm Sash, and I'm thinking, you know, he might actually want to end up uh, DDing, predicting my uh, my detect or protect or whatever. But he goes for the taunt, so I can't detect slash protect. I have detect on this because I like the way it looks. But I do that, and I end up getting some damage on it, and I actually end up being faster, which is kind of surprising in my book. But uh, whatever the case may be, it happens to work out. So I take it out, and my Sash is still good to go. The only thing that's wrong with me right now is I'm taunted. So uh, in comes Rotom. And I'm still really not that threatened by it, because I'm thinking I can still 2-hit KO it, or 3-hit KO it regardless, and I, got, I have a Sash, so that's totally fine. Uh, he reveals he's got the uh, the hidden power, I'm thinking it's fire, you know, because of Natore and Scizor and all that, so it brings me down to my Sash, turns out to be a crit, doesn't really matter, would have been a 2-hit KO anyway, because Sash and whatnot. And then he turns out to be an offensive life orb to Rotom, so, uh, you know, crit really didn't matter, especially because of Sash, so... Uh, I'm, I'm just glad nothing else had to take it, and I'm down on my sash. But we got a little uh, mini lead sweep going on, and my taunt wore off, but uh, I, I, I got one health left, so anything with priority can take me out. But the thing that confuses me is he sends in Sawsbuck right now, and I'm wondering, you know, what other options did he, did he have? Because, I mean, Bug Buzz is 100% accurate, and Air Slash is what, like... 90, 95, something like that, so, kind of a weird play, if anything, it just got me some more speed, I'm thinking it might have been a, uh, a misplay there, but, uh, he's gonna bring in Scrafty now, which is actually probably gonna end up being able to take an Air Slash, uh, I for, I forgot that, uh, Bug Buzz is, I think Bug Buzz is neutral? If I'm not mistaken, anyway, so I went for the Air Slash on that, uh, didn't quite take it out, and uh, he's going to go ahead and get the Moxie boost. I'm actually glad he took me out because uh, a Yon Mega Sweep wouldn't really have been uh, much to watch. And, you know, judging by the rest of this video, that uh, his momentum is going to pick up as well. So I, I bring in Breloom, and he makes a good play, and he has the Insomnia on his Honchkrow. So uh, he's, he's going to, you know, not take the Spore. And for some reason, I go for the Focus Punch predicting the sub. Because that's what I've been seeing lately, you know, the... The Moxie Crow will uh will Brave Bird and sub, but you know, I saw Insomnia, so I should have expected differently, you know, and he just goes for the heat wave and takes me out. Because he doesn't want recoil. So or he might be a special set. I don't know. But whatever the case, um I'm gonna go for the Thunder Punch knowing I can take a uh a sucker punch. I'll albeit not that well. In fact I probably could end up dying, but I guess he must have overpredicted or something. You know, thought I would have switched out to something else meant to scare him out. So he stays in, takes it, doesn't really work out for him. Uh, he's going to go out to Scraft. You know, I might as well just go for an, uh, an Earthquake since it's going to be slower than me. There's not really any way that Scrafty can be faster than me unless it's Scarfed or if it's got a DD up. But uh, neither are the case. And then he brings in Blaziken, which is one of the main things I was definitely fearing. So, I've seen some Blazikens run Swords Dance, but the majority of them run Protect. It, at this rate, it didn't really matter to me. You know, it, it was gonna it was gonna get set up regardless, and I kind of wanted to see if uh, I could have baited him into going for the Fire move. Not the Fire move, excuse me, the Fighting move. So I could just go to Dust Noir. But he actually has uh, Fire Gem and Fire Blast. And so he's got a special speed boosting Blaziken, which is actually the first one of its kind I've seen. So I'm not going to be able to get any uh, high jump, kicking, you know, missing thing with my, my Dust Noir here. So I'm going to bring it in. And, you know, if he's going to try to start sweeping, assuming I can live a Fire Blast, you know, uh, I'm thinking I can. And I do. I'm not specially defensive, but I take it thanks to uh, uh, natural stock, I guess. And I end up going for the curse because this will either force him out and he won't have any more speed boosts or he'll stay in and try to get as much use from it um, as possible. Thinking about it, I could have gone for the paint split as well, but uh, it probably wouldn't have worked out better for me, especially if I had the burn. I probably would have ended up dying next turn. So what I need to do right now is I need to stall this Blaziken out of, uh, out of health with curse. So I go from Espeon and I go to uh, Typhlosion baiting him to go for the fire move because I'm thinking I can take that. All right, now that his fire gem is gone, he doesn't have blaze because he has speed boost, and uh, 
yeah, I mean, if I didn't have that curse going for me, I'm pretty sure I would have had my, my ass handed to me by now. But, you know, I don't. I have uh, Typhlosion and Espeon who are both actually going to go ahead and resist this, uh, this Blaziken stab move, so it's just a matter of shuffling back and forth and waiting for Curse to run him dry. So, uh, having Typhlosion out baits him into going for the, uh, the Focus Blast, which I predicted, and, uh, or at least the special fighting move. I think Focus Blast is the only one it gets. But, I here I, here I kind of make a little bit of a misplay, a little bit of an overprediction, because I stay in expecting him to go for Focus Blast, expecting my Typhlosion to come in, but he just he just goes with the same game. I, I guess he knows how I play, or he figured, you know, a Fire Blast uh, wouldn't really be appreciated by either party. So, um, what ends up happening there is I lose my Espeon, and then he goes into, uh, I end up going into Typhlosion, excuse me, and he ends up going for the Hidden Power on this turn, because he, he, number one, he doesn't want Focus Blast to miss, that would kind of be, you know, a bad way to end the game. So he goes for the Hidden Power, I actually don't know what Hidden Power that is, and I think this is his last poke anyway, so it doesn't really end up mattering in the long run anyway, uh, he would have died to Curse Damage at the end, so the best he could have pulled off at that point was a, uh, a tie. So, but uh, that's going to be the game, guys. Uh, it was kind of short, but, you know, it was still enjoyable. It's one of my first times using this team in 5th gen, and, and it does all right for itself. So um, I will go ahead and leave both links in the description. You guys can do your thing. Uh, rate, comment, sub, do your thing, and I will see you guys later. Peace.